seems like the forests are, are reaching a point where they cannot sequester additional carbon. And so this balance may be tipping in the future. We often hear about the key role of forests in absorbing CO2. That's why we call them carbon sinks. But what does that actually mean? And why is this role so important? Gerdian Navos from the Wageningen University explains it. Forests uh, in the photosynthesis process, they take up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, make sugars out of that, and with the sugars they build the wood. And that means that the carbon stays there in the wood. And uh, so forests take up carbon, but then of, of course also when leaves fall on the ground, they decompose again and part of the decomposition, the CO2 is released again. The net result is that the forests take up CO2 and they sequester roughly 10% of the total EU fossil fuel emissions. But there is only one little problem. This is not working anymore as we would wish. And the greenhouses we've been emitting for the last century and a half have a lot to do with that. Over the last five, six decades, European forests have been building up uh, stock. They have been building up more and more carbon in the forest. And what we see now is that this balance between what is added as extra in the forest or what we are losing because of mortality, natural disturbances or harvest as well, this balance is shifting. So from going into a net sink for decades, probably decades in the future, but it may be tipping so that they are starting to act as a net emitter. Wait, he said that trees are absorbing less CO2 and they can actually turn into emitters. But how do we really know what is going on? We base our measurements on national forest inventories. All the EU countries have a, have a good national forest inventory where field crews go to the to thousands of sites every five or ten years and they re-measure the trees in the forest. What you have now and what you had five years ago, this is how we calculate the net sequestration over that period. And since we know what is happening, are we taking any measure to prevent it from worsening? And since we are emitting a lot of carbon dioxide from burning fossil fuels, we are adding extra CO2 in the atmosphere. So we're making the blanket a bit thicker. We will need much more renewable resources in the future if we cannot rely on fossil anymore. Building with wood, for example, but also a little a part is also bioenergy. In, in my mind, we need to invest in forests again, like some countries have done in the past. That, that means building a more resilient forest ecosystem. A wider variety of tree species is needed. Tree species that are also adapted to, uh, to climate change. Forests can never solve the whole problem. They can only solve a relatively small part, but a significant part. But indeed, we, we need to reduce our uh, emissions from fossil fuels. Do you want to know more about the state and importance of European forests? Forest Europe has gathered the voice of a wide network of experts on the issue. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn.